I began playing the upright bass when I was in fourth grade. My, my mother's a music teacher, so I actually started on violin when I was in first grade, and I, I wasn't overly fond of it, so I switched to the bass, and I really enjoyed it a lot. Music in the schools is incredibly important. It's had such a profound impact on my life. It's very interesting because there have been so many studies that have been uh, proven and all these statistics where if children are involved in music, they have higher test scores, they have higher graduation rates, better chance of you know, attending school on a daily basis. Musical education at any age is a benefit because children have a way to express themselves and have an experience that, would, that they would not normally um, achieve. In the classroom, they're working on reading and math and science. When they come into the music classroom, it's an entirely different world. Some of the students that may be struggling in reading or math, they find it a way to express themselves and end up being leaders in the musical class. In the fourth grade, we offer exclusively violin practice, and in the fifth grade, we offer them an opportunity to practice in, uh, in strings or to choose a band instrument. <laughs> I started in fourth grade, started with the violin. That's really what brought me to the, the field of music. When I started playing the violin is when I became enticed to the world of music. That's when I started taking it very seriously and it became part of my daily life. If it weren't for that, I probably wouldn't be involved in music right now. Um, I'm not playing anything like the violin, but it's, it's definitely become a strong starting point and integral to my involvement in music. There's evidence that shows that um, children who play music have higher test scores. They, it improves their critical thinking. Music ought to be a part of the curriculum. It's not a question of whether it should be or it, I think it must be a part of it. I think it should be a central part of the curriculum. Music makes you smarter. It's just that simple. I mean, that is uh, one of the findings of the study. There was speculation as to, it used to be called, I believe, the Mozart effect where um, just uh, by virtue of listening to music, you know, m music would stimulate your brain and it would lead to, you know, higher uh, performance levels and so forth. But now there have been uh, more specific studies where they have separated kids that take music lessons from kids that don't take music lessons and they see the benefits uh, that actually extend to areas uh, that go beyond uh, uh, musical uh, knowledge. In other words, they extend to areas of non-musical cognition. Well, when you play in an orchestra or a band, you have to work with everybody else. You have to sit still, you have to listen, you have to wait for your cue, and then you want to practice because you want to be good. You want to be part of the team. It also teaches you to play solo, so it gives you a tremendous amount of uh, self-confidence. And it's really fun to hear the kids talk about their playing because they all think they're the best. It's really cute to hear a child say, you know, I'm the best. I'm the best of all my group when he might not be, but if he thinks he is, that's great. I think music enhances self-esteem, first of all. You know, it's, uh, it's an area that has also uh, been, um, uh, you know, where music has been proven to affect uh, individuals positively. Uh, I remember, for example, an old, uh, one of my own personal experiences uh, being 12 years old and playing live performances in front of my friends, in front of my family, in front of my peers. And uh, the satisfaction that came with, uh, with knowing that I had played these, the, the performance, you know, it affected me in a way that um, I couldn't see a substitute for it. You know? I mean, it gave me confidence. You know? It gave me a sense of belonging. I can't begin to tell you how much music has meant to me. At a very early age, I began singing with my parents who were musicians. And when I went to join band, there wasn't an instrument available, so the music teacher put me on two nails for the entire year, and I tapped those out in the band. I was the percussion section with two nails. And then I explored music through a junior high and high school into college, and it's been with me ever since. So those rich experiences that have made my life a wonderful journey, I would like to impart those to the kids. I probably wouldn't be like half the person I was if I didn't learn the value of performance. With his kisses, he 
When you're placed in the milieu of, you know, something orchestral or, you know, even jazz, just having this great time, there is really a sort of nuanced feel that comes over you and there's almost no words to describe it. I suppose I could describe it through music <laughs> and just the fact that I don't think people realize how much influence music has on daily life as a whole, even if you're not a musician. Um, I talked at several school board meetings this year and I'm just very much trying to emphasize, you know, imagine your daughter's wedding without her favorite song. Or imagine Jaws without the ba dum ba dum ba dum <laughs> Sing, we move, we do body percussion, we play percussion instruments, xylophones, metallophones, and uh, we provide a number of musical activities. When you consider, for example, the kids uh, taking piano lessons, they have to do um, a variety of tasks, for example, memorizing music, learning about the musical language and dealing with complex structures, such as chords and scales. They have to be in a routine, they have to practice their instrument regularly in order to become better. They have to be confronted with uh, live performances, so they have to memorize. Ultimately, they have to be emotionally involved because they have to express their emotions through the music at the time of performance. Music is a language, ultimately, and it's a very deep language. It transcends all kinds of frontiers, it transcends uh, ethnic and geographic boundaries, and it brings people together. It, it connects, it makes you connect with, uh, with people. And just the fact that I'm, because I'm a musician, if I can meet another musician, I'm immediately able to connect with them on like this very intricate human level. Music kind of allows you to access this unseen plane of existence. think about it, things in music, you, it's very hard to put them into words. You have so many words to describe this and that, but when it comes to music, if you read some, someone's comments on music, it never seems like it's the real thing. You can't read a writing or an essay about a piece of music and then get the feeling from that music. No way it compares. I'd be playing video games if it weren't for music. But you know, video games are awesome too, but you know, music's probably more constructive. I say school is a very important thing in getting me interested. Otherwise, forget it. I don't really care. I know people who the only opportunity they have is in the public schools. And without that, they just wouldn't be able to partake in these activities and they wouldn't be able to have that experience and that chance to really develop themselves as a person. If we start kids early on, with a musical program. You get a really solid, uh, motivated instructor to work with kids and teach them about rhythm, for example, or Dalcross, Eurythmics, along with singing. And um, if you start, them, you start them early enough, then again, they build a sense of belonging to a group. Then they probably will think twice about joining a gang. You know, if they have friends and they have a, you know, a group of people that supports them, where they sing together, they do all this energy stuff, you know, because music is energy. It's very positive energy. If, you, if you're in a band in high school, you know, you'll never be without friends. And so you'll stay away from all those things like gangs or bad crowds. It, it allows people to make friends and that's always a good thing. People are healthier, people are happier with friends. It's way better than being by yourself all day. And I guess that's where the band nerd thing comes from, because people in band hang out with each other. But I don't see how that's a bad thing. I, I specifically know one girl in my orchestra who she really feels like it's saved her in a lot of ways because she lives in a, a you know kind of scarier part of town and she feels like when she comes to orchestra she's able to remove herself from that and you know she has friends who've been involved in the gang activities i don't think i can emphasize how important it is to keep music specifically in the public schools and this is coming from someone who could probably still play music without it and 
I think it would suffer in the long run easily and that we would probably witness somewhat of a disintegration of our culture and the society as a whole. The Salida Performing Arts Foundation has been a magnificent vehicle to provide musical instruments to our school and eventually to our entire district. Our goal at this school is to provide a, a violin at no cost to the families for every fourth grader. And that means that we're looking to provide 100 to 110 violins next year. And then when they come into music, they will have music rehearsals with me. And this will be at no cost to the community. Actually, it'll be a savings to the community of about $20,000 per year. When the kids have the opportunity, they find out what they may like or may not like. And that's part of the experience of music, especially in elementary school. It's a magnificent way to explore music and to find a little bit about musical history and the aesthetic motivation that we all should experience. Whether it's music, dance, theater, painting, photography, graphic design, the arts do so much more for our kids. Research shows that students involved in the arts learn to read more easily, have higher achievement levels, and are less prone to drop out. Early arts participation also dramatically enhances our children's abstract reasoning and higher brain functions. That's required for math, science, and engineering careers. If you benefited from exposure to the arts in school like I did, you know it builds self-confidence, self-discipline, and teamwork. And ultimately, this creates better, safer schools for our kids. But not every child has this opportunity. In difficult times like these, the arts are the first to suffer cutbacks. 92% of California's elementary school children have never even seen a music teacher. How can we ignore the importance of this investment in our children's futures? We can't. The long-term enrichment of a life exposed to the arts is priceless, both to each individual and to our country. This is about our children and our grandchildren. You and I don't need to save the arts. We need the arts to help save our children. We invite you to join the California PTA and the Dr. Carol Channing and Harry Collegian Foundation for the Arts and Restoring the Arts to all our public schools. And you can help. Join us. Help us for the children's sake.